Hi, welcome once again to this tutorial. Emmanuel here from Majesties, and in our series of the PSR S710, you know, typical, typical, typical keyboard in the Africa church, okay? So I'm going to do another. Now this is the, I can call this Worship 2. The other one was Worship 1, okay? This is Worship 2. So I'm going to play uh, a, a, a Worship song. Uh, Wastahili Ewe Buana. Swahili, but can also be translated into English. Uh, you are worthy, O oh Lord, our oh God. So, something like this. Wastahili Ewe Buana. So I'll be using suitcase for my right one volume, suitcase EP. Right two, I'm using the modern EP, okay? I like those voices on worship, although you can also use strings if you like strings, and or if you have a second keyboard is doing strings, then don't do strings. Okay, on my style, I'm using the 16-bit ballad, okay? The ballad, 16-bit. My tempo is 63. So I'll play through. So I want you to get my movements, huh? And then when you start a worship session, don't start on the higher beat, the busy one, okay? That's already full. So start with the lower one, the, the more quiet beat, okay? So you, you can even switch off. If you go to the channel on and off, you can switch off some of the parts. Like I can just switch off the kick so that I only have the other parts moving in. So as the song builds, you begin adding more elements to your drum, okay? So that the song is building up. And then I like also the multipad. When I'm doing worship on the multipad, I like um, using uh, some shakers, huh? just some percussions. Can use some congas, shakers, but I like the the shaker, okay? Something called what, 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 what? Shaker and tambourine. Yes, something like that. So it sounds something like this. Huh? Um, yeah, yeah, the shaker. So you can just start the worship, you see, on a, on a slow place like that. Huh? And then, you can also start without the bass. Because you see how a, st a song starts and builds up? It just starts with the keys, and then the bass will come in, okay? So I'm going to do it how I do it practically during a worship session, and then I'll, I'll explain everything. Okay, then also, I'll also break down the chords, so just follow, follow with me through, okay? Okay.
um, one important thing when you're playing one-man band, you know, you're playing everything, try to think in terms of a live band. Like how would the drama play? The drama would not start immediately hitting everything. Huh? So you switch off some of the elements. On, the, on this keyboard, there's something called channel on and off. Switch off the kick, for example, so that you only have, you know, the hi-hat, you know, just starting in slowly. Just the hi-hats starting in slowly, okay? Then if you can have that shaker there, just put in a shaker, you know? Something smooth, then switch off the left bass. So you just start with the piano. Then play softly with the, with the singer as the singer starts. Buona, wasta Buona. And then, when the worship leader now brings in everybody else, now you can fill in and bring also the left in, okay? Do you get the point? Create a feeling of the song building up from a low level, you know, coming up, okay? Start softly without the full beat. Just start with the, for example, the, on the variations, you can start with variation A as you build up to B, up to C. And then also, another important thing, how do you fill in your beats? Huh? Don't fill in all the time, you know. The song had just started. You are worthy, oh Lord. You see, that is not where a drama fills the song. The drama usually will fill the song or roll at the end of the phrase. So you have to ensure that you feel at the end of the phrase, okay? You are worthy to receive, okay? To receive, to receive all of the glory. You are worthy, you are worthy. You see? Now that's why you feel in. So it creates a good feeling that the song, the drama is rolling in the, in the correct place at the end of the line when the, the next you know, stance or something is coming in. So don't keep on rolling it all the time. You, you sound so busy. So um, something else. Now, let me break down the song, the cause of the song, and then I'll show you what I'm doing on the right hand and, um, and also what I'm doing on the left hand, okay? So let me switch off the bass so that I just give you the chords. Now, there's also a style of playing when I'm, when I'm not using the left bass, okay? You try as much as you can to fill the whole keyboard. Don't, don't play with one finger like this and a chord on the right. Yeah? No, I see people doing this. You are, let, me, let me play it the, not the wrong way, but what most beginning players do. Okay? You are worthy. Have you heard that somewhere? Now, when you are playing, don't play with the beat. Don't play with the pulse of the beat. The beat is there to give you the tempo and give you the groove of the song. So don't again play along with the beat. Let the beat just play on its own, but don't, don't emphasize on the beat. Do you hear that? That is playing with the beat. So don't play with the beat. Just be free, okay? What's the healing? So be free, don't lock yourself playing with the beat, okay? That's one main mistake I've seen many people making, at least, okay, in Kenya. I don't know what happens in your country, but it's common, okay? So now, the cause of the song. Sorry, I'm, I have to mention all these things because I'm trying to help you to just point out the common mistakes. Huh? So you'll bear with me if I digress a little bit, but let's go, go now back to the cause of the song. You are worthy, your Lord, our God. Okay, the first chord. I'm starting with the F-sharp major, okay? And on the left, I'm just filling it all up. F-sharp, C-sharp, and F-sharp. You are worthy, oh Lord, our God. Give it a soft touch, okay? Don't bang the keyboard, soft touch, okay? So the first chord is F-sharp major. Then the next chord, I'm using E major on the right 
with a G sharp on the left and a D sharp. And then back to the F sharp major with an A sharp and F sharp on the left. And then to the B major. So basically it's a walk up. One, two, three, four. But I'm just using a different chord on my two. Instead of using the G sharp minor, I'm using an E major in the inversion. Inversion of E major, okay? E major is flat seven. So I'm using this inversion, G sharp, B, and E, okay? You are worthy, O oh Lord, our God. The next part. You are worthy, O oh Lord, our God. What am I playing? F sharp major to a B flat major. Okay, B flat dominant seventh, sorry. On the left, I'm playing B flat and F. On the right, I'm playing B flat, D, F, and G sharp. Okay? So it's a three dominant seventh. Huh? You are one, the old Lord. So one to that three dominant seventh, B flat dominant seventh. Oh Lord, to our D sharp minor seventh. A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp. D sharp on the left. Oh Lord, our oh God. So that's just a G sharp dominant seventh. G sharp, C, D sharp, and F sharp. The left I'm playing C. Oh Lord, our oh God. So it's a passing chord to the C sharp major, okay? C sharp major, okay? So up to that point. You are one. left to the B. You are worthy. F sharp over A sharp, one over three. You are worthy, oh Lord. Back to our E major on the right, G sharp on the left. Our F sharp major, one. God. B major, which is chord number four. And then our next chord is our B minor, B, D, and F sharp with an E on the left. That is a minor four with a flat seven on the left. To receive F sharp over C sharp, all of the B over C sharp, four over five, glory. Back to one, I'm playing now an F sharp major seventh with a nine on top. So the song. You are worthy, O oh Lord. point you can apply a 736 what is a 736 what is seven okay one two three four five six seven eight that is the f sharp major scale so seven is f three is a sharp six is d sharp so i'll play an f minor seventh f minor seventh is f g sharp c and d sharp if you don't know this course, please check the description of the video. I have a link to my free ebook that will give you diagrams of all these chords, okay? And I have a full piano course, by the way, that goes for only $20. But if you are a subscriber to this channel, you'll get it at $15. If you want that full piano course, please just hook me up on my email or my phone contact. All of them are in the description of this video. For that full piano beginners course that will help you understand all these progressions, 736 and all these chords that I play, okay? So F minor, seventh. I'm just playing now the inversion here. C, D sharp, F, and G sharp. And then, so that is seven. F minor, seventh. Then to the three, A sharp, dominant seventh. A sharp, D, F, and G sharp. And then to the six, 
D sharp minor seventh in the inversion. A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, and F. So seven, three, six. Okay. You are so that this is where now you can apply that. You are worthy, O Lord, our God. Receive all of the glory to receive. It's a turn around. Oh no, what is a turn around? Turn around, you know, those places where the song keeps on repeating, repeating at the end of the line. This is something you can do. To receive all of the seven, three, six, and then flat seven, which is E major. I'm playing the inversion that is B, E, and G sharp with C sharp on the left. And then to the four, which is B major. To receive all of the glory. To the four, B major seventh, B, D sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. To chord number two, G sharp minor seventh. To receive one over five. Major seventh with C sharp, low B diminished seventh B D F and G sharp. Glory all of the glory. Now let's go to the left. Okay. So you. a little bit to this point okay you are, so remember the main point on the left try to give it a real feel of a bass guitar you are the With the right hand. movement common in many songs seven three six two flat seven over five i already explained all these chords and then back to the one now when you go back to the one you go to the one dominant seventh f sharp dominant seventh that's f sharp okay c sharp f sharp and a sharp then you add the e to get f sharp dominant seventh okay so so F minor seventh, A sharp dominant seventh, D sharp minor seventh, G sharp minor seventh, E major flat seven over C sharp, E E major over C sharp, then F sharp dominant seventh. Okay, so it is that 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 that. That, that, then to the B major seventh four. So let me play that. C 
seen that then you then that B minor over E to receive walking two three four five okay so to receive all of that As simple as that. So, because it's a video, you can slow down, pause, you can rewind. Okay? That is uh, what I call worship session number two. Now, I will still do another worship session on the PSR 710. So, watch out for the next tutorial. Now, I'll call this a series. That was worship one, this is worship two. Now, we'll go to worship three. Okay? And don't worry, my friends in uh, other African countries, I'll also try to use. Uh, uh, maybe in the next class, uh, a song which we all know, an English song which we can all relate to, um, so that we see how far we can help each other. So remember to subscribe to our channel. As always, when you click the arrow on the des description of this video, you'll see my Facebook link, my um, Twitter pages, you know. Uh, let's connect us on social media. And remember to subscribe to our channel share out these videos if they're helping you please share out with somebody remember to leave a comment below let's engage let's communicate on how these lessons are helping us so god bless you and i am waiting to see you in the next class and come with a friend okay god bless you